What's going on, my friends? Cubs fan Han here, bright and early on a Monday morning to talk Galaxy of Heroes. And I have got to show you guys this dope team that I found today while looking through the hollow tables. Check this out right here. Now, this is not my theory craft. I want you guys to go check out this video and subscribe to Dark Omega, who is utilizing Darth Vader with Treya lead, Sith Trooper, Watt Tambor, and Darth Sion together to take down Darth Revan teams. Full decked out Relic 7 Darth Revan teams. Now he's decked out too. He's got full gear 13. He's got a Relic 7 on this Darth Vader, which is definitely going to enable this team to do what it does best. But what I am so excited about with this team, this isn't necessarily like a super free to play team or anything. I mean, you're gonna need to be in a great guild to get Watt Tambor, that kind of thing. And Sith Trooper here, obviously he's wailed on Sith Trooper. So this isn't like a free to play counter that I'm super excited about finding, but I'm just stoked to see a legit theory craft in this game. Theory crafting feels dead in this game, ladies and gentlemen. And to have a team that utilizes Sith and you've got Watt Tambor in there, and you don't expect to see Sith Trooper in this. You kind of expect Sith Trooper in First Order, even though he's got the Sith tag. I'm just really excited about this, so let's actually look at this. Now, what's going to make this work very well is Watt Tambor's uh, weapon mod, which is going to make Darth, Re Darth Vader an absolute unit. Because he's going, remember, he's going to gain 15% turn meter at the start of each enemy's turn. But attacks ignore defense. And enemies defeated can't be revived, which won't be a huge deal here. But the ignoring of defense is pretty insane on this. All right. So let's go ahead and let's look at this footage. I'm going to I'm gonna play it right here. Now, you're going to have to forgive the 1x speed here. We'll, we'll kind of skip ahead when the battle's decided. So you'll see here. He has got the shield generator going straight to Scion. That's going to basically give Scion that permatant while he's got the protection up, which is going to be a big part of this. Um, it's also going to give him that recovery that comes with it. Now, he's already got the weapon mod over on Vader. Something to note is that his Watt Tambor does have a ton of speed. He's uh, well over 300 speed. We'll show the mods, uh, the speed stats, at least at the end of the video. He's got them there. And so, um, here we go. Now, Vader here, he does not even do his dots. He's got the ignore defense. He's got the advantage up. And boom! 170,000 damage from Darth Vader. Now, something else I missed to call out here is Sith Trooper in here. What's going to make him great is he gives the advantage over to Darth Vader on his second special, which kind of enables that to happen. And then from here, it's just going to be a matter of managing everything else there. He does eventually lose Scion here, uh, but here we go. Now we're going to get the dots out there. Malak is almost taken out. And then uh, Protection Up is going to be your friend with Darth Treya. She's going to survive some pretty threatening hits here. That was very close. Easily could have lost Darth Treya there. Um, but again, having uh, Scion in there. He's shocked right now, so he won't taunt. Uh, but having him do those taunts is going to be big. And there we gave the shield generator. Sorry, the uh, I think that was the shield generator. No, not the shield generator. The, the uh, med pack to Treya, uh, which is going to help keep her alive. She just survived a big blow from a Relic 7 uh, Sith Marauder. Normally, you won't see that, but she had the protection up, and she had that, um, gosh, the, the, the shield generator. Not the shield generator, the uh, med pack. Gosh, I get those two mixed up. And so that kind of enabled her to survive that. Uh, Scion's getting dangerously close, uh, but we're going to be okay here. We're going to be able to take out, um, let's see here. Basil's getting close. Okay, Scion's going to clear. All right, Basil's almost taken out. Scion's back to taunt him because he does have that protection. There we go, Basil's out. And you know what we gotta do here, ladies and gentlemen? This, this gameplay is incredibly slow. Let's speed it up, let's see, playback speed. Let's go 1.75, there we go. Does this look better? <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it any longer, Dark Omega. All right, so there's the first battle. Now, he's got more battles here. Let's see how these play out. Um, again, I do have a link down below in the description to this video. 
Um, he is a newer YouTuber, and with a theory craft like this, definitely be sure to show him some support. Go over, check out his video, at least give it a view and a like. Um, in fact, let's give him a like right now. We haven't done that yet. All right, so this battle, not starting off as hot. They lost Scion right away. We did get Darth uh, Revan out there uh, right away, which is going to be a big part of this, getting Darth Revan managed immediately. They lost what? And so you're, you're more disadvantaged in this battle. Interesting. All right, is he going to be able to uh, take someone out here? Ooh, Darth Treya and the combo with Sith Trooper takes out Malak. We're going to get an ability block over there. No, nope, didn't land. Okay, we're, we're three on two right now. The protection up is enabling them to do what they do best here and really manage Sith Marauder. That protection up is huge. Normally, those hits are just absolutely devastating. All right, there's the saber throw. 170,000 damage. Ignoring defense on the saber throw is just absolutely meta that's just crazy <laughs> all right here we go i think this is the last battle that he's got here so there we go there's the uh, shield generator over on scion the weapon mod on darth vader you're gonna need to have a fast team to be able to get that weapon mod out and the shield generator on the first couple turns all right oh wow this time he goes for malik first it plays off malik is gone that saber throw is just soul crushing just soul crushing regardless of where it goes all right trey is in trouble we'll see if he ends up losing one. Oh, marauders out oh sith trooper <laughs> sith trooper doing what he does best ladies and gentlemen oh my gosh that is so dope so this this win wasn't as comfortable here this one was not as comfortable it still gets it um, a lot of a lot of that because of Sith Trooper. All right, let's go back and let's look at those mods. We have it spe sped up, so it didn't stay there very long. And so you'll see here, uh, the speed he's going against um, is, uh, let's see, pretty quick. 341 Darth Revan, that's pretty freaking fast. 316 Basila, 245 uh, Marauder, only a Relic 2 on Marauder. And so that's probably a big part of this as well to, to keep in mind. I'm curious to see if that Marauder was Relic 7, if this would have been possible. Um, I'm not seeing Marauder a ton personally. Um, I've still seen a lot of Sith Trooper, but the Marauder teams I do see tend to be Relic 7. And so I'm I, I'm curious to ask Darth Omega here. Um, I'd love to see a follow-up video with his team here um, going against the Relic 7 Darth uh, or, or Sith Marauder. Or maybe that's something I could test out over on the test account too. Uh, that's that's always a possibility. Um, and then let's see here. Relic 5 Darth Malak, 321 speed. So the speeds are not a concern here. I would say the Relics are a bit of a concern. Um, Relic-wise, he did have a Relic 7 Darth Treya. Obviously, double Zeta on uh, on Treya on Darth uh, Vader, Relic Seven on Darth Vader. I think this is the first Relic Seven Darth Vader I've seen. I mean, oh my gosh! Speed wise, though, look how sl his Treya's not fast. His Darth Vader's not fast. Um, he's obviously going to get some speed bonus, uh, and then Sith um, Trooper is one of the faster ones 279 286 and the only over 300 character he's got is watt tambor and he's loaded all of his speed up there understandably so because he wants to get that weapon mod over to vader as soon as possible so you ignore that defense and then that saber throw becomes that much more devastating no relics on watt only relic three on darth scion but again, um, something else I, I will emphasize, I understand this is, this is not like some free-to-play magic counter. Um, he, he's obviously paid to play with Sith Trooper. But having another team here to take out Darth Revan teams, this can free you guys up to play something different on defense, to place Darth Revan on defense, know that you've got another counter in your pocket to take out those Darth Revan teams, whether it's for... Um, whether it's for Grand Arena, whether it's for Territory Wars, or just for fun in Arena, um, I think this is a pretty sweet thing to see. And the mods aren't crazy. The mods aren't crazy. It's the relics that are going to need to be on point for, I'd say, Darth Vader is the essential. I think Treya you need. Uh, Sith Trooper, there was one battle there where he really came through with some damage. But um, the first battle especially, I don't think Sith Trooper... It, getting the advantage over on Vader was probably important, but that was that was about it. Um, I don't think that you have to have a Relic 7 Sith Trooper. Um, I'm curious to see if this would work with a free-to-play Sith Trooper. Um, 
I don't think it will, though. I think you're going to need to have the, the relics over there on Sith Troopers. So, anyway, there's the mods. There's the relics so that you guys can be aware of that. Um, and if, if anything, just cool to see a genuine theorycraft. W in the chat, everyone, for Dark Omega for actually theorycrafting and finding something that works against one of the top meta teams in the game. I have got to give him mad props for that. It's just hard to find a good theory craft nowadays. Good, good stuff. All right, everyone, let me know what you guys think about this team down in the comments below. If you guys did enjoy this video, it would really, uh, I'd appreciate it if you would leave a like to show your support for the content. We've got a lot of good stuff coming this week, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be doing a Grand Arena uh, live later today um i think i'm gonna have my brother with me to do a double header he's gonna sit here with me we're gonna do his battles we're gonna do my battles it's gonna be good stuff so ladies and gentlemen thanks again for joining me for this video if you did enjoy it tell me everything you thought down in the comments below and as always my brothers don't forget 